On February 15, 2013, the world saw the results of a small near-Earth object entering our atmosphere. The high-altitude explosion of 500 kilotons TNT energy, triggered by the impact of that 17-meter object, injured more than 1,500 people and caused extensive damage to Chelyabinsk, Russia. The necessary first step to defend the planet from the asteroid impact hazard is to discover those large near-Earth objects that may pose a significant danger. The U.S. and the European Union both have search programs, but what can we do if an asteroid is discovered that is about to hit the Earth? One mitigation approach is to deflect the asteroid, hitting it with a spacecraft and pushing it off its collision course. But this method has never been demonstrated. The Asteroid Impact and Deflection Assessment, or AIDA, is a joint venture of NASA and the European Space Agency to monitor, strike, and ultimately alter the orbit of Didymos, a binary asteroid. AIDA consists of two independently launched spacecraft, an observatory and a kinetic impactor. The U.S. component, DART, is the kinetic impactor that will hit the asteroid in order to deflect it. ESA would build and launch AIM, the observatory, which will survey the targeted binary asteroid before and after the collision. Measuring the deflection precisely, and determining key physical properties of the asteroid. Designed, built, and operated by the Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Lab, DART will be the first demonstration of kinetic impactor technology for asteroid mitigation. DART will impact its target at about six kilometers per second relative to the asteroid, about nine times faster than the bullet from an AK-47. The required targeting precision has been demonstrated by two intercept missions led by APO. First, the 1986 Vector SUM, space-based intercept of a thrusting vehicle. And second, the 2008 Burnt Frost, sea-based missile intercept of a satellite. And in 2001, NASA's NEAR mission, led by APO's Andrew Chang, achieved another first, successfully landing on the asteroid Eros. We learned a great deal from NEAR's mission to asteroid Eros. Now we want to learn how to deflect a near-Earth object using a spacecraft impact. When DART collides with a smaller, secondary member of Didymos, AIM will measure the change in its orbit, and that data will be crucial to prove we can change the trajectory of an asteroid on a collision course with Earth. AIM will measure very accurately the amount of the deflection but it will also characterize the surface properties of the asteroid and its interior structure. This information is required to characterize the physics behind the impact and to prepare for a possible future mitigation of an asteroid impact by spacecraft kinetic impactor. AIM will demonstrate the payload and the spacecraft technology required to operate uh, nearby the asteroid and to observe the impact and characterize the impact dynamics very accurately. IDA is a unique international collaboration where the two separate missions each have independent value. In fact, should only one launch in time to rendezvous the asteroid Didymos, the science return will still be significant. For instance, if DART is launched alone, the asteroid deflection can still be measured by observatories on Earth. By operating together, AIM and DART will provide data that will answer a great deal of questions about everything from orbital and impact modeling to theories about asteroid composition and material. The mission's two sections each will draw upon the respective strengths of the team designing and flying them and will provide invaluable data regarding asteroid deflection technology as a viable means of planetary defense. AIDA will leverage the respective strengths of the European and U.S. space agencies and space communities. Humanity needs to know how asteroids will react to deflection. AIDA will give us our first real answers to the question what can we do if an asteroid is about to hit the Earth? <laughs>